Hey all, this is Sean from the Pompey Games Room. I want to thank you for checking out my latest review here from Man Overboard on the Sega Mega Drive Genesis. This game also goes by the name of Sink or Swim, or SS Lucifer Man Overboard. It was available on the Sega Game Gear, Mega Drive Genesis, Super Nintendo and PC, following its release in 1993. So, starting off in the game then, we start off each level with a guide to the level, which gives you a chance to quickly try and map out a route, and also get a glimpse of the level before starting. The version of the game that we're playing today for this review was developed by Codemasters, as one of their early game releases, as can be seen with the early entrance logo and the object cartridge that this game came on. The object of this game is to play as Kevin Codner through a hundred levels of puzzle and problem solving. Much in the same way as Lemmings, your job is to guide passengers and workers of the stranded ship to safety, making sure along the way that you keep them away from fire, falls and even machinery which can crush your little men as you try to get them to the exits. Another thing that you'll need to take into account whilst playing this game is the rising water level which occurs in each of the hundred levels of this game. Once the water rises and submerges your passengers, they will be able to swim for around 15 to 20 seconds before dying. They then turn into spirits and start flying to the top of the screen. In order to get your people to the exits, usually situated towards the top of the screen, you will need to remove obstacles and also change directions of conveyor belts in order to complete each level. And once you have rescued all the surviving passengers, you will need to make an exit yourself. This can be achieved by using the little tunnel which will appear close to the exit which your passengers escape from. So let's quickly take a look at the game screen then and we'll go through what we've got. Bottom left, the K indicates your lives and how many attempts you get at each level. The 30 indicates your air, after your player gets submerged by water, this will slowly start to decrease throughout the level, whilst in the water, once it reaches zero, your player will die. The next item along, which is a bomb, indicates how many bombs or grenades you have to remove obstacles, meaning that your people can move on to the exits. Then in the centre of the screen we have your score, which will go up every time you save a little person in this game. Then towards the right of the screen you have rescued, left and saved, helping you keep track of how you're doing on the level.
As a puzzle game, this offers a brilliant alternative to the standard Lemmings and Tetris games. Due to the large characters on the screen and also the level design, I found Man Overboard to be a much more enjoyable game to play than the before named games. Each level is really well thought out, however, I did find the music slightly annoying after a while, but that really was the only downfall I could find with this game. This game offers a challenge to the most committed of puzzle gamers. Man Overboard also has a great replay factor due to this game having a password function in the game, meaning that all levels can be accessed by inputting the code. So if you enjoyed or felt you really got challenged by a certain level of the game, you could always revisit it at a later stage by inputting a password. So just to sum this game up then, it really doesn't come up very often on auction sites, but when it does you can expect to pay anywhere from 15 to 25 pounds for it. Definitely worth checking out, as like I said earlier in this review, it offers a great alternative to puzzle games on the 16-bit consoles. It's also worth mentioning that I think this game has possibly got one of the coolest cover arts. It looks more like a Where's Wally book than a video game. Anyway guys, thanks for checking out this video again. Please feel free to comment, rate and subscribe, and until next time, thanks for watching.